Good afternoon, everybody. Thanks for the introduction, and uh, thanks for having me. Uh, certainly, it is uh, a very interesting time. Oh, actually, oh, here we go. Sorry about that. The clicker's on the floor. Uh, certainly an interesting time, uh, certainly in the industry, in the digital space uh, as a whole. We just think about some of the innovations and the discussions that have been talked about in the past couple of days. <clears throat> it's pretty amazing to think about the, uh, the speed and the frequency at which the landscape is changing. Uh, the Copia digital platform is helping to shape the future of the digital marketing, sp marketing space as well as uh, helping to shape the future revenue possibilities of the publishing space. Um, so what is the digital marketing space? What does it mean? How do we drive revenues? Um, today we're going to talk about a couple of the challenges that we are facing in the, in the digital marketing space. We're going to identify consumer needs, those needs that actually drive purchases, and we are going to share in some of the insights that my company has gained over the course, uh, the course of the 40 or 50 years and uh, present you with some great tools for overcoming those challenges. Who is DMC Worldwide? Why are we here? What is our relevance? Um, for 40 years, we've been investing in, in, uh, in the emerging technology space. We have, uh, going back to our days in the LED uh, wristwatch, remember, push the button, little uh, red light would light up. I had the Dukes of Hazard. True story. Um, we licensed that technology back in the 70s, commercialized it, imported it, and brought that into the mass market space. We were influential in the semiconductor space. We were the first company to introduce the first sub-$99 handheld calculator. Kind of a, not of a big deal today, but if you think about it in the 70s, it was a very, very big deal. We're also the company behind the Bell South brand of telephone products. We were innov innovators in the telephony space. Um, for the course of 20 years, any product that had a Bell South name on it, we were responsible for the technology, the innovation, distribution, supply chain, et cetera. So what I'm driving at here is we have been uh, understanding and tapping into the emerging trends that are going to have a, a long-term impact on the consumer marketplace, things that are going to be sustainable, drive revenues not just for us but for our channel partners. Um, so let's, let's just dive right in and start to take a look at the digital marketing, marketing space today. The digital space could be pretty complex. We start breaking it down inside of channels, inside of sectors. Everybody's trying to create a point of view, how to be relevant, et cetera. What I'm going to do today is take a kind of a step backwards, and let's just get back to basics for a minute. On one hand, we have digital marketers. We have publishers. We have libraries. We have authors, agents, retailers like us who are trying to make connections with consumers in the digital marketing space. We're trying to establish relationships. We're trying to get them to make purchases. On the other hand, you have consumers. It's no secret that consumers today are more tech savvy than ever before. They don't need to be told where to go to buy something. They certainly do not need to know how to shop better for a particular price on a product. They don't need to be told how to comparison shop. Um, so where do we bring together the challenges of marketers and the consumer demands uh, of the consumer that are actually driving the consumer purchases? So let's get down to four key primary areas where Copia thinks that are, are the, the, the key drivers that influence consumer purchases and are actually value adders for, uh, for marketers in the digital space. If we're going to be successful in marketing from today forward, we are clearly entrenched in the digital revolution. There's no question about it. I think we all agree with that. You've got to create an experience for the consumer. You have to give him or her something far more um, to do with your, if it's a website, with, whether it's a product or whether it's a brand. They want to engage with you far more than making a purchase. They want to engage with you before the purchase. They want to engage with you far after the purchase. Um, so let, let's build on this a little bit. Second key is connections. It used to be that uh, the web, World Wide Web right, was invented. How great for all of us. Um, when the web was really first a valuable tool for, for marketing, it was about connecting people to information. Right? Today, 
We've got Facebook, we've got Twitter, we've got LinkedIn. Today it's about connecting people to people. So let's build on that. So now people are connected. Once they're connected, we need to really be more impa impactful and give them tools and features to actually enable them to do something with each other once they've connected. So collaboration is a key driver, certainly for Copia and we think for the digital space at large. The last and perhaps the most important component is relevance. So you've got a great experience. You're connecting people to each other. You're allowing them to do something. But how are you creating relevance to that particular market? So whether you're promoting and marketing titles into the education space, whether you're selling you know, great romance novels or you know, nonfiction or geographical titles, it really doesn't matter. But what we have to do is we have to create a very relevant story, and we have to be able to connect with those customers in ways that allow them to have more meaningful experiences. And those me more meaningful experiences and connections actually drive revenue opportunities. And we're going we're gonna to talk about that in a minute. So what is Copia? Copia is a content delivery platform. It is really the first social e-reading experience that brings together three very, very critical key components. Bring together a very large content library together with community, so collaboration and social networking tools and features, together with commerce or you know, a very deep, robust bookstore, the ability to buy right from our uh, platform. So Copia, what we really did was we designed around innovation and the ideas that we would uh, bake into the, into the platform that foster experience. So we've created tools and features that connect people to each other in an effort to drive revenue and give and in, in the, um, after the revenue is uh, actually captured or we capture a sale, what is it that we're doing to enable customers to do something far more with that content? So let me, let me pause here, and, and if we take a snapshot in time right now, there are some very, very good players in the industry who are selling, the category is not exactly emerged yet, but it, it's growing fast, and that's why we're all here. Search for a title, plug it in, if they have it in their library, you hit the buy button, you download it to your device, you read it, today it's your computer, or it is your e-reader. That's really where the experience is stopping. You're being left to your own devices to do something with that. So as part of human behavior, we don't typically read in isolation. We read a book, we want to talk about it. We got halfway through a chapter that moved us or an inspirational quote, we're sharing that with someone. So our point of view is how do we take those behaviors and cycles that exist in the physical world and move them into the, into the digital world? So let's talk about some of the tools that we have created specifically to help foster these experiences and, and the abilities to actually drive revenue. Search is a very uh, key component of the Copia platform. So Boolean search, it is not necessarily something that is new. Um, you find it on Bing, you find it on Google, but unless you know the secret code, the pluses, the minuses, the equals, and all of this, it kind of fundamentally is useless. So what we're doing is we're kind of unleashing Boolean search. If you see, I just popped up a, a, a search bar that you'll see on uh, when someone types something into the, the primary search bar that allows you to visually take cues and see, add to, exclude, et cetera, et cetera. So you can quickly get to the titles or content that you're looking for very, very quickly. What we're also doing is using tag-based search powered by metadata. So this is consumer-generated tagging. So how great is it is if you are reading uh, at the same time, let's say I'm a student, I'm reading multiple textbooks and I'm reading some entertainment books, perhaps some sports and a great new novel or what have you. How great is it if I can look up my friend's digital library, see exactly what we have in common without having to ask for it? Or what if I took notes two weeks ago in class and I remembered that I took an important note, but I didn't know exactly when it was? Well, I can scroll back over time and kind of look at how I've organized and captured those notes and then refer back to them. And so I, what, what I've just pulled up here is you'll see that the bar on the top of the, uh, the web capture there. Um, underneath there, you can actually start to search by certain physical cues, and I just talked about them, which is relevance or time or content, et cetera. This is one of perhaps my, my two top favorite uh, tools on the platform. This is Mosaic View. Mosaic View gives you a tag-oriented uh, visual result. 
So large images that you see on the page are most relevant where the smaller images are perhaps less relevant or further away from your initial search. Now you can actually categorize this by um, direct, direct search. So let's say I typed in you know, a particular genre, you know, uh, I don't know, sports memorabilia or something or American history or whatever the case may be. You're gonna get results. You can, you can look at these results by relevance. What's more important is that you can look at these results by how active or social that title is on the entire platform. So how many people are annotating? How many people uh, have it part of their book club? How many discussions are being had around that content? So you're starting to see how collaboration and uh, social networking are actually bringing uh, a lot of relevance into the frame and creating meaningful experiences and engagements for the customers. Next view is, uh, is Endless Shelf. The Endless Shelf is very much about recreating the way in which we bring uh, kind of browsing in a, in a bookstore. How many of us have walked into a bookstore, started looking for uh, American history? Two hours later, we, out, we wound up in French culinary arts or something like that. So this is a way of replicating that digital search and being able to bring you to content that's important or meaningful to you. I'm getting cued to, uh, to hurry up and finish, so. I'll just, <laughs> let me just talk about uh, social networking and how we're combating social fatigue. So it's our opinion that the world certainly does not need another social network, but what we do need are ways that we bring people together around content that we have in common or that is important to each other. So we're leveraging your existing time, efforts, and energy and your friends on, on social networks. And by that, you can import your friends and automatically have them be populated on Copia. So if you capture a note and you're reading in real time with a buddy of yours, you can syndicate your notes out to that person. You can syndicate your notes or comments out to a group of people. So we're actually taking the notes and extracting them from the books and allowing the, the, the consumers to actually experience that aha moment together. So community value, let me talk briefly about uh, the impact of that. Wine spectator rating systems are really powerful. If I go into a wine store, a 90 would be fantastic. I may not like the characteristics, but it's probably a very good wine. We've created a value system here that doesn't just take a five-star rating system, which can be very weighted. It doesn't just give you and say, hey, this is a, a bestseller or a popular title. What we're doing is taking an algorithm that we've created that takes into account how many annotations, how many discussions, how many groups, and results it in a community value of uh, one to 100. So now you can see how relevant is that book to the platform or that title to the platform. If it's a 90, then hey, I really like it. We take it a step further. When, you, when we result the community value, we're actually showing you your list of friends and if they've made a review or a recommendation, you're automatically given their recommendation or review. So now it's about driving recommendations from my personal friends and my trusted resources as opposed to just looking at a universe of people and saying, well, they're saying it's a 90, but is it really important to me? And do I want to spend my hard-earned dollars on a title that may or may not be impactful? Um, I'll right. wrap up here. He's coming up to, to drag me off the stage. But uh, Copia, will, it, it exists as a platform. It both powers our own uh, brands of e-readers. It's also an engine that will live on OEM brands of e-readers. So you'll see tens of millions of devices powered by Copia in 2010. It will also be embedded on uh, tier one PCs. So you go home, you buy your favorite netbook or notebook. The Copia uh, icon will be right on the desktop. And so we're bringing Copia into households as well as marketing to them and asking them to come out to, onto the platform. Okay, Th thank you very much, Anthony. All right, appreciate All right. it. <laughs>